fishing the flooded river today. Water's kind of clear though. It's been flooded for a while. It's starting to settle the mud. It was really flooded the other day. It's going down, but it's still fairly flooded in between really high and flooded, I'd say. Good time to fish for catfish. Now I'm fishing uh, chicken liver, cut bait, raw chicken on a couple poles here. This guy doesn't feel too big. Feels like small average one maybe. Pulling it, yeah, he's small. Pulling him pretty fast. Let this little guy go here. Man, another bite right away. Awesome. You know, I like fishing high water like this for catfish, or very high water, because uh, all the catfish that are normally in the pools, the eddies and whatever, you know, stacked up out in the middle, some of them push out in little pods, groups of like five or 10 or so, into these slack waters when the water's high, because the water's so fast and raging in the middle. The bait fish tend to stack up in the side and the game fish follow them. See, just this little slack water right here, especially along the current break there. These cats tend to stack up. Should get a decent amount in the 26 to 30 range. The first one was definitely below average. He was a 24 incher. I measured him. Just jigging a big swim bait jig in between fish here. Picked up a largemouth. It's really strange. Like 99 out of 100 bass in the river are smallmouth. Awesome. You know, five feet makes a big difference here. The difference between that slack water and fishing it right on the edge of the current break is a big deal. It'll get you, I don't know, a 20-30 minute hit versus a, uh, a what, a uh, 20 second hit. You know, whenever I get it in just the right pocket, the hits are immediate. You know, either the catfish are literally stacked up on the current break, or the current break carries the scent downstream a lot faster. One or the other, I think. But, it's very typical to catch them right on the current break, especially find them concentrated there in the high water. I got this guy on uh, some raw chicken and some chicken liver together on a treble hook. Um, that last cat that I caught was just a smidge over 26. Measured out at like 26 and an eighth. So he's like, I don't know, getting a lot of below average ones today. This guy's tiny too. Weird. 21 inch here. Very rare I catch them that small. It's right there. <laughs> Went home for a bit to edit a video and uh, eat lunch and stuff and then I came back for some more cats. I'm going to hit this spot. I might hit another spot after. Just fishing raw chicken on this this rig for now. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I'm going to say it again if I did. But when I'm fishing these edge slack waters like this, if I can get away with it, I'll use a uh, free line. Just a hook connected to the main line. It's a lot simpler and a lot less to retie when it, whenever it snags up. Um, that's if I can get away with it though. If I can get it in just the right pocket amongst all the currents and whatever and have the bait still sit there. If I can't, I'll use a three-way slip sinker rig or something like that. And the water's so clear for being really high. It's awesome. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They'll hit whether, whether it's clear or muddy, but 
It's just cool to see them swimming around out there in the in the shallow edge water. So I got my uh, polarized sunglasses on. There you go. Measured out dead on 26. Exactly. I threw a worm out there. Picked up a little bluegill, that's funny. I was wondering what would hit. I switched the rods out, put them in opposite places because I wanted the 30 pound test rod over there. I set up the bluegill live over there on a 9 knot circle hook, see if there's actually anything interesting in this edge water. A musky or a pike or a bigger channel cat. This guy I'm still just using a treble hook in this spot with a uh, on a free line. This time with uh, just pure chicken liver on the treble hook. The cat before this was just pure raw chicken. Both of them work great in these aggressive fish situations. They're both smelly. Getting all small channel cats so far. Still waiting for a big one, or at least a decent one. <laughs> Haven't seen even a decent one yet, really. This one's tiny. Man, wow. My guessing's dead on today. It's exactly 23. Cool. <laughs> Cat up front here on a bit of raw chicken. That was a double header there. That one was going off for a moment and I had to, had to abandon that one because this one started going off. Yeah, keep an eye on that one though. Still waiting for a decent one. <laughs> a lot of small ones today. This guy doesn't feel tiny at least. I haven't really seen him yet though. Pretty small. It's on the small side. This one's a 25 incher. There we go. There's a cat. <laughs> he slammed it. Forgot to mention what happened to that bluegill earlier. He uh, he found his way underneath a boulder. There's a lot of boulders here, and he got jammed up, so I lost him before any fish could eat them. This setup here is a little lighter than the one to my right. It's medium heavy instead of heavy and 15 pound test instead of 30. I think I'm gonna re-spool it with 20 soon though, but for now it's 15, so I gotta play these fish out, especially in the current. Catfish fight like a mule. You really gotta take it easy with them. Even sometimes small channel cats have a big attitude. Man, another small one, really? It's crazy. This is just one of those days. This one's a smidge over 24 and a half. Came back down next morning, early, try and catch some more catfish. Water dropped down a few inches. Enough where I can fish this pool, same as I was fishing the other one yesterday afternoon. Just fishing this little slack water pocket here. Not very deep, two and a half feet maybe, three feet right now at best. You know, during summer level, there's barely even water in it. That's the beauty of this. Another channel cat. Got this guy on a bit of raw chicken, just free lining it. Hopefully we get a decent one today. <laughs> they really, they really were all real small yesterday. Maybe we'll even get a big one. We'll get super lucky. Who knows? It's a bunch of real picky ones in there. I don't know if it's a turtle or if it's like a 10 inch catfish or something, but it's a bunch of things that just keep nipping at it, nipping the chicken liver off and 
That's why I just put a piece of raw chicken on, it sticks on a little better. Until I can figure out what, what's going on out there. This guy looks at least average, I guess. Looks okay sized. And he's got a big head. It's 26 and 3 quarters.